Every business needs caution, and arbitrage is no different. Let's discuss a few of the things that you will need to be cautious of while you are starting in this new business. You will need to wait for the refund. Percentage of profit keeps on changing with each new lot that you will purchase. It is a highly competitive market, and competition can get nasty, which might later reflect in the form of a bad review. For instance, when you make a purchase and do not find the product true to your expectations, you need to return it and wait for the refund. This wait becomes tedious and works as a hindrance when you are running a buying and selling business. You may also be waiting for the money to buy your next product. If the amount is of a large sum, the wait can be all the more excruciating. You cannot fixate on percentage of profit, as you would have to act accordingly to the market, which would force you to adjust the price of the product frequently. For example, you made a profit, or 10%, in one of your collectibles, but you cannot be sure of making that same percentage of profit after three months, as the interests of the buyers keep changing. And as we are talking about variety, we also need to consider the sellers. There must be hundreds of sellers dealing with similar items, thus making your work a little harder. As said previously, do your research and stay ahead of your competitors. Today's times is so that you can earn money from the appliances that are not just in use by you. One such item that can come to your rescue in the time of need and can make you a successful entrepreneur is the car renting business. This is a business where you provide your car to others for travel. This can be done in the condition where your client does not have access to his own vehicle, or you can give your car on rent for a specific period of time. Hire Me Car and Car Club are the successful examples in this field of business. They are operating all over India now. And in this business, all you need to start is your car. There are a few steps that you can take when starting this business, starting with selecting your kind of business model. There are a few key steps to take when starting this business, starting with selecting your kind of business model and analyzing your target audience. You can then get your business registered, license, and begin to prepare your rental contract. Then comes the fun part of making yourself present online. When you think of starting your car rental business, you need to think of the right business model that perfectly suits you. Then comes a customer group that you need to target. For example, if you only have one car that you wish to put into the business, you might prefer renting it to the customer who wants it for a shorter duration of time so that you can rent it out to someone else and get it clean before the next customer. Getting yourself registered will help you get your business in place and will also bring you the business license. Before you rent out your car, you need to have your business contract in place to avoid any legal hassles. And most importantly, you will need advertisement. Make yourself visible and reachable. For example, as previously mentioned, getting registered on Google so that people will be able to find you when using keywords. There are many business models available for the car rental business, and you may choose any one of them as per the capital and cars available to you. Your will to work as per a particular model would also affect your decision here. So let us introduce all of the business models and then you can choose the best one for yourself. The first one is to have a franchise. Purchase the rights to use the brand name. The second is to set an agreement with a car dealership. The third would be to start your own small business. And the last is to buy an existing independent business. When you go with opening a franchise, it gives you an edge as the name is already established. You would need to take on the same business models as the franchise, and your cars are ready to go. Yes, the entry cost with starting out a franchise is a little higher than starting your own, but setting up on the business is much easier, and with a trusted name of the franchise, you can dive into the business right away. For example, Hertz, Dollar Thrifty, and Enterprise Budget are a few of the franchises that you might consider association with if you decide on starting your business with the name of a franchise. Partnering with a car dealership is another way of starting in this business. You get the access to the customers who are already going into that car dealership. The only drawback is that you lose autonomy over your own business, but that is one factor that comes with the franchise as well. Looking at the benefits that come with a car dealership, it's a fair deal. If you don't want any interference into your business, you should start your own small business. You are the sole decision maker and you don't have to answer to anyone. You get to build your own brand and also enjoy the fruit of your labor. This brings us to the last option, buying an existing independent business. This would save you time and efforts on establishing yourself from scratch and would give you the satisfaction of having perfect control over your business. Whenever you think of a business model, 
Clients and customers are at the very core, and they remain so as the business is dependent on them. So it is very important to understand what kind of customers would you be catering to, and what kind of customers would you like to attract. Types of customers in this field are travelers and tourists, short-term rentals, long-term rentals, loan cars for car dealerships, and loan cars for auto mechanics. If your car rental business operates in a place which is a hub for tourists like Delhi, Rajasthan, and Agra, then your main focus should be to accommodate tourists and travelers. You should fix your rent and deals, keeping in mind that you need to deal a lot with tourists. But if that is not the case, you may also want to focus on short-term and long-term rentals. This means that you give your car to the person who rents it for a few days, or in some cases, a few weeks. This also brings in the factor of providing a driver. The client might want the car with or without the driver, so you need to devise your deals as per the demand of the customer. Loading your cars to dealerships and mechanics is also a good idea. You can make it your primary business or do it when your car is not being rented by a customer. You can fix an amount for yourself that you would receive from the dealership or the mechanic, and this can become your passive income. This is a business which requires registration and license, so you need to understand the details of the paperwork before you begin with your car rental business. Before you start the process, you would want to narrow down your choices and decide on one entity that best suits you. You may choose any of the entities that we previously mentioned. Then you would have to decide where do you want to operate your business as the registration would take place with that state. And the process would vary with your choice of state. After you complete the first three steps, the registration would be completed by the Secretary of State or Chamber of Commerce. Once you are done registering your business, you need to procure a license, which is not as tedious as a job as it sounds, as long as you follow these steps. First, make sure that you procure an appropriate business license and permit from your state or local agency. Consult a business attorney to establish the authenticity of your license and establish an appropriate business insurance. After your registration, you would get the license for your business and all the permits that you would need to run your business. The license can be procured from your local agency or agency of the state. But by this point, you will want to hire an attorney so that he can take care of all your legal matters and you can concentrate on your business. Getting insurance is one safe way to feel secure while running the business. As it is in the car rental business, it is sure to bring you maintenance costs, wear and tear, and repair. So make sure to have an appropriate business insurance. As we mentioned, being in the car business can bring certain kinds of risks. These risks can come from your client's end or your investor's end. They may be the risk of getting yourself into an accident or getting stolen. To save yourself from some of these risks, you can get yourself insured. But to save yourself from the rest of the risks, you get yourselves a contract. This is a legal contract which binds the client and the service provider. The contract that you make should cover the duties and responsibilities of both the parties involved. Also, the liabilities that fall on both the parties can be covered in this contract as well. Accidental clause is an important factor of this contract. This contract should be created by a legal professional who has experience in the car rental business so that no detail is left out of the contract. People take to Google to search for even the smallest of things. So make sure to register your business on Google so that you are discoverable and reachable to your clients. For example, a client sitting in Agra can book your car in Delhi if you are available online. Few more things that you can do are to make yourself easily discoverable. Create a business website and set up pages for business reviews and utilize all of the social media platforms. Creating a website is another great idea. On the website, you can give all of your details along with the feedback given by your customers to showcase your service. Provide the details of your drivers as well so that the business appears to be more transparent and trustworthy. A review page is one way to connect with your previous as well as your future clients. If you provide your customers a space to leave feedback, it means you are open to criticism and want to work on your betterment. Making pages on various social media platforms is something that will surely bring you more clients. You can post contents of clients and deals that you want to provide.